Amir, what I hear often from our customers is they're expected to do more with less today. What are your customers coming to you with and saying, these are my challenges and these are the problems I'm trying to solve today? I mean, we're hearing similar topics, similar themes across our customer base and the, and the organizations that we're dealing with. Certainly, um, you know, how does these, these organizations leverage these newer technologies? How do we take advantage of newer business models, newer technologies, frankly, to advance their mission? And, and the removal of spending most of their time, at least from an IT perspective, uh, focus on maintenance and operations of their systems and more towards the mission. So how do they redirect their resources, their limited resources, to your point about limited budgets or in some cases even declining budgets, to focus on the things that are really, really impactful to their organization, which oftentimes is serving their constituents and their citizens. Microsoft has been building public sector solutions for a long time and been very successful in this space. What do you think is the secret to success in that, in that, uh, in that arena? So it's very much in our DNA. We've had you know, a focus on public sector as a vertical within the company for many, many years. I mean, over 30 years that, that I can recall. It is something that we have dedicated teams looking at the specific requirements for government and the focus on that. So those are capabilities and features that are built into our products to be able to help these organizations with their mission and with the service that they provide to their constituents and their citizens. So Amir, what are some of the benefits of being, you know, what you sometimes hear in the industry called a Microsoft shop? Um, you know, so first of all, we're, we're a very open company. So we recognize and accept and embrace, frankly, this um, multi-platform environment. So we, you know, we play nice with, with all the vendors out there and the other competing technologies in many ways. So we recognize that there is no such thing as you are only a Microsoft shop or you're not a Microsoft shop, if you will. But having said that, the value that we bring as a Microsoft te you know, technology stack oftentimes revolves around the usability and the adoption. As you know from your experience, um, a lot of these projects, the, you know, these implementations, a big hurdle, a big obstacle is the, cost, the, the adoption, mm -hmm. right? So in a, a lot of these solutions that are built, your solution, your UMAC solution, built on the Dynamics platform very much looks like an office product. You know, when was the last time you attended an, an Outlook or an email training to use that application? Not necessarily. Probably, probably never, right? So that's the intent, is that we want to make sure that we build solutions that are intuitive, a platform that is very flexible and configurable and adaptable uh, so that it's, you know, you're almost future proofing, you know, your solutions and as, as new innovations come out and collaboration and working with others, you know, in an environment that this solution can kind of be a plug and play that allows you to, you know, frankly, leverage the investments you, that have already been made in Microsoft or in other technologies to drive the value for your organization. we leverage the R&D that Microsoft invests, right? So as a, as a vertical partner and someone who has a very specific solution that fits a, a particular industry and fits it very, very well, we rely on Microsoft to help us become future-proof, sure. to envision what customers are gonna need, not today, but five, 10, and 15 years down the road. So from our perspective, from Microsoft perspective, I mean, you're spot on, John. You light up our, our platform. You light up our technology. You light up you, itinerous, and the solutions that you're building, that you take to market, that subject matter expertise that you add on top of our, on, on our platform and our stack, that's what brings it to life. Without it, it it's just technology. While we're committed to public sector, we're committed to obviously um, building great software, that the reality is, is that you, you know, you're that last mile that actually makes that connection to, to the true value that a customer will realize. Um, partners are very much in our DNA. While we build great technologies, great solutions, um, the reality is, is that our partner ecosystem is absolutely paramount to our success, our ability to scale, our ability to actually drive the value into the market and to the organizations and customers that we work with. 
So when I think about itineraries, when I think about UMAX and the, and the solution that you guys have built on the Dynamics platform, I, think, I see it aligning very nicely, very well with Microsoft's bold ambitions.